I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar, the Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. When the animals turn against their masters, it is sometimes necessary to cull the herd. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight! And your selfish ambitions to the throne! I should put my faith in untried foreign hands! Do you think I'm blind? Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a King of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon.
My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy. But he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. and conspires with a blood mage to poison me. It is a bitter dose to taste. The Chantry speaks truly about the corruption of power. If a man like Loghain could go and do this, I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. Ah, warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena, she's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. I am here for Loghain's daughter, not for Loghain. Their interests are not so similar as they once were. The Queen, she is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But Rent and Hal, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to Hal. A visit from the queen to the new Isle of Denon is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. They now know she is a threat to her father's power. I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. Because you do not want Loghain ruling Ferelden, and if Nora can speak at the lands meet, her voice would sway many nobles. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I fear if this is a trap, we are already caught in it. They can kill Anora whether or not we act and blame her death on us. Few would believe our word over Logan's. We can only defend ourselves with the Queen in hand. I have some uniforms. I'll have, have so many new guards every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my Queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. Hmm. Then I shall need to seek him out once we are done. Here I am, Talisan. Tell me, were you sent, or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. 
Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back, and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Perhaps. Or perhaps not. I'm glad it was you who came, Talisan. This makes things... easier. As for you, Grey Warden, let us see if this second time is the charm, huh? <laughs> Elven's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al Hau is inside. The estate is in poor repair. The new Al, he has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I will be right behind you. You must come! I saw something! A better fountain! I think it was a darkspawn! Darkspawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten! Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive! Please get help! If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And dress these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here. Quickly!
Ah, oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. She is in a guest room, off the main hall. Andra, stay guide us. This kitchen is a disgrace. How did the old farm No one ever said the candles had been the devil. Captain, not going every place he owns it. Three nights in a row. For all we know, it's not mutton. I know you're oh, bluffing. Two, two. Then call it one, don't you? The Grey Warden is here, my lady. Thank the Maker. I would greet you properly, but I'm afraid we've had a setback. My host was not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He seals the door by magic. I did not know. There were only guards here when I left. We must get her out of there. Don't panic, Erlina. Find the mage who cast the spell. He'll most likely be at Hal's side. Well, if he didn't know you were here, he soon will. Please, Walden, I beg you, do not leave my queen here. Free me, and I promise you my aid in the land meet. We do not have much time. We must go before the guards discover us. Karen Hal will probably be in his rooms. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. Town house, probably in the room. Go on your left. What? Who goes there? I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Do you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. A warden from Orlais. Jada, I think. Or was it Monsumar? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. Amri Orden, senior warden of Jada. But born and bred in Hyever, and glad to be home. For the most part, attempting to hold my tongue, I was sent when we received no word from King Kaelin as to the outcome at Ostagar. The king had invited all the wardens of Orlais and their support troops to join him. Then nothing. We had 200 wardens and two dozen divisions of cavalry. The first we heard of Logain's edict was when everyone was turned back at the border. That was when the rumor reached us that wardens were being blamed for the massacre. We finally decided it was safest to send someone alone to learn how best to fight the Blight and this regime simultaneously. As a native Ferelden, I volunteered to make the crossing. The other wardens won't risk their strength fighting Ferelden's civil war. If they spend themselves against Logain, there is truly no hope. They recall accounts of the first blight, how many cities fell. If Ferelden is too foolish to save itself, at least, we'll be ready when the Archdemon leads its forces further. Besides, I hear you haven't been doing badly at raising an army yourself. But perhaps if the Edict can be lifted, I will send a message as soon as we are gone from this place. 
with an offer of hospitality and a poison chalice. I was fool enough to think Loghain didn't yet know who I was. I saw him going to the dungeons. He may still be there. I wouldn't be much use to you in my current condition. And if you'll pardon me, I have a sudden desire to breathe some free air. I will seek you out later, after I find a good physician. And good luck, brother. As you wish. Who goes? You think you're clever, do you? Anybody tries to come in here without Howl's say so, we get to do what we like with them. I think we finally got a bit of entertainment here, lads. Head say I'm surprised Eamon would condone you invading my castle and murdering my men. Is he losing faith in the persuasive powers of his land's meat? Loghain's plan is to save Ferelden from real threats, here and now. And after certain upstarts are brought to heel, he will end the blight you go on about. Something your pathetic order of second sons can't seem to get done. Ferelden needs a king who has known command. With the proper advisor at his side, of course. Please. Kalen was a symbol. The coddled idea of the royal bloodline. He wasn't a real leader. You should have left when you had the chance, Warden. Slunk off to the Anderfels to hide with the rest of your kind. This landsmeet is a farce. Loghain will triumph, and you will die. What?
I deserved more. Let's get started. My thanks. Because there are two sorts of people in this house. Those loyal to Howe, and those loyal to me. If Howe's people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. Warden, in the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. Don't be ridiculous. The Queen isn't being held prisoner here or anywhere else. Her father would never stand for such a thing. What? Sir Catherian, oh, praise the Maker you're here. This brigand tried to kidnap me. Unbelievable. Bring them down! Logan wants the Warden, dead or alive!
This should be easy enough. Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. After your rather alarming lack of subtlety, I feared the worst for you. I prayed for your safe return. Well, what did you expect me to do? You announced me to my father's most trusted lackey. Did the purpose of my disguise entirely escape you? I barely managed to slip away from her when we reached the palace. I am hoping that, despite our unfortunate beginning, we can still work together. Will you hear me out? We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. You will need ammunition come the lands meet, and I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Nora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. You don't need to trust me. We have the same goal. That is far better than trust. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough, and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Loghain is the problem at hand, yes. We need to do all we can to erode his support before we call the lands meet. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Aurora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. Mm -hmm. 